You know, ladies and gentlemen, would you ban your best athlete in your sport because he decided to go for the money rather than be underpaid through the organization that he has promoted and helped uh, bring to international fame for the last 20 years? I think Joey Chestnut was fucked over by not being allowed in 2024 uh, Nathan's hot dog eating contest. The guy who won, God bless him, uh, nobody's going to remember him tomorrow, but Joey Chestnut is probably the most memorable athlete of the last 20 years because he's pretty well the only athlete in the sport that everybody remembers and he's been the best ever. Now, born Joseph Christian Chestnut in Fulton County, Kentucky, um, is what you call a competitive eater. As of 2024, he's ranked first overall in the world by major league eating. Now, on July 4, 2007, he won the 92nd annual Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest in New York City. Chestnut defeated <coughs> six-time defending champion uh, Takeru uh, to Tsunami Kobayashi by consuming a world record 66 hot dogs and buns in 12 minutes. Now, after losing Kobayashi in 2005-2006, the rules were changed later on and the uh, sessions were put down to 10 minutes. He then would go on to win eight consecutive titles from 07 to 14, setting a Nathan's record of 69 in 2013. Now, he lost the 2015 belt to Matt Stoney, but on July 4, 2016, as always held on the holiday week in the States, Chestnut regained a championship belt from Stoney by eating 70 hot dogs. Chestnut would win the title from 2016 to 2023, setting the current record in 2021 with 76. Now, on July 4, 2023, he captured his 16th current title by eating 62 hot dog buns. He, but unfortunately, like I said, he was banned from the 2014 contest do a competing sponsorship with uh, Impossible Foods. Now, Chestnut came up slow in the uh, Major League Eating, but became a sensation. He was a, I think when he started, he was just in his early 20s. He's 40 right now. Now, uh, Chestnut, a San Jose University student at the time, entered the competitive eating scene in 2005 with a breakout performance in the Deep Fried Asparagus Eating Championship. I know Carol Burnett would be pleased. Now, in this one, he bet high-ranked eater Rich Lefevre by eating 6.3 pounds, 2.9 kilograms of asparagus uh, in 11.5 minutes. I can imagine what his pee is going to smell like. That same year, during Nathan's hot dog eating contest, he ate 32, third behind Kobayashi and Sonia Thomas, a good female eater at the time. Now, on October 22, 2005, he set a new world record for downing 32.5 grilled cheese sandwiches in 10 minutes, at the Arizona State Fair as part of the GoldenPalace.net World Grilled Cheese Eating Championship Circuit. Now, when he defeated Thomas in the Waffle House World uh, Waffle Eating Championship, he placed second to Kobayashi in the Crystal Square Off-World Hamburger Eating Contest Qualifier, eating 56 Crystal Burgers in 8 minutes to his 67. He later better by eating 91 in the finals, finishing second to the 97 ham hamburgers combined, uh, consumed by Kobayashi. Now, uh... Now, Chestnut qualified for the 2006 Nathan's Championship. A July 4 forward approach, there was speculation that 2006 might be the year when Kobayashi would be beaten. But, of course, Kobayashi won from, for, from 53 three quarters to 52. Now, in 2007, uh, Chestnut did the miracle. He knocked off Kobayashi 66-63, leading to the latter's first defeat in a contest of six, uh, six years. Now, uh, he's been a championship beater in numerous categories. Too uh, too heavy to maybe repeat here, but we're going to try. Uh, this is the world records he holds. For chicken wings, crystal, crystal hamburgers, the brand name, colaches or colaches, pulled pork sandwiches, steak, uh, the Sasquatch bur burger, funnel cake, Philly cheese uh, cheese steak, pizza hut pizzones, salt potatoes, Taco Bell tacos, 53 in uh, one sitting, corned beef sandwiches, tamales, apple pie, brain tacos, uh, hard-boiled eggs, pastrami's, pork ribs, Twinkies, deep-fried asparagus, Betty's own record, fish tacos, uh, gyoza, pierogies, pulled pork sliders, turkey, gumbo, boysenberry pie, burritos, outlaws, uh, that's the outlaws world burrito eating championships, gyros, uh, that would be tough, that's uh, 30 donairs, ladies and gentlemen, meat pies, 23 in 10 minutes, glazed donuts, tacos again, uh, white hot cheeseburgers, hostess donuts, very sweet, ice cream sandwiches, mutton sandwich, San Pietro fish market shrimp, shrimp cocktail, 
croquettes, pepperoni rolls, canteen sandwiches, pizza, pork, pork roll sandwiches, uh, uh, carnitas tacos, the put in, 28 pounds, I don't think anybody will ever beat that, grilled cheese sandwiches, Big Macs, red beans and rice, hot dogs, chicken fingers, and popcorn. In the last two years, he's uh, having broken many records. But the popcorn was interesting. 32 servings in eight minutes. Mm. Uh, anyway, uh, talking about the uh, put-in, this was that the, the Smokies put-in year, world put-in eating championships. And by the way, Smokies is a great uh, location for put-in if you're in the Brunswick, there's one downtown Franklin. So ladies and gentlemen, what were the organizers of Major League Eating thinking by not having Joey Chestnut in? They could have basically said, uh, well, you know, we don't control him. But there shouldn't be an exclusivity. For example, if Wayne Gretzky changes his gear, let's say in 1984, from CCM to Bauer or from, uh, I don't know, um, the, uh, you know, sticks from, I don't know, Sherwood to something else, you know, why would you ban somebody who's bringing all the thing to the sport? You see, the, the, the guy that runs Major League Eating, I don't want to say his name because you see it three times straight, uh, Satan might appear. He used Kobayashi, he used Chestnut, and uh, basically I don't know how much he gets paid, but at the, the highest of his level, Chestnut was only getting a hundred and some thousand a year, which seems kind of bizarre because the top athletes in every, every other sport was giving five to ten million. Now this is a sport because whether you're against gluttony or not, to see an individual overcome any battle, uh, stuff like that. You know, weightlifting is a type of sport where you have to lift weights. Uh, throwing the javelin, you have to throw literally a stick, you know, a long stick, uh, through the air, uh, shot put. Uh, it's all about e ejection, but this is different. This is injection. You have to have the stomach muscles. You have to not throw up. You have a certain uh, style. But Joey Chestnut, a very charismatic guy, so was Kobayashi. And if you watch a 30 for 30 on their battle, I think it was 2017 and 19, it was shown again on, um, T uh, I think it was TSN uh, uh, today again, that's probably one of the best 30 for 30s a lot of people haven't seen. So maybe you look down at competitive eating, but I've seen a lot of people scarf down food because they were starved. I know one thing, uh, it is fascinating to see a whole bunch of people lined up and there's a whole different countries uh, that are represented at the uh, at the, uh, the Nathan's Hot Dog Championship. But I, I, I look forward every year to Chestnut being there. This is like he's the Jack Nicholas or the Wayne Gretzky or the Aaron Judge of their uh, of, of this sport. Every time Judge comes to the plate, I'd watch. Nicholas would be four shots behind. He was always doing something. Gretzky, whether, I think it was an infamous game where they were behind 7-2, to two, and he had four points, three goals, and one assist. It was 8-6. Six, six, then he went up and tied it again, helped tie it. So it's bizarre how sports is. But Joey Chestnut, pound for pound, no pun intended, uh, is one of the most interesting athletes of all time. So that's the story of the great Joey Chestnut. If you like what you're doing here, Give us a like, comment, subscribe, or share.